Hi, I'm Steve Bergeron, and welcome to this edition of OmahaBrides.com video broadcast. You know, when it comes time to finding the perfect venue for your wedding reception, it's going to be one of the most important decisions you make. Well, we're lucky enough today to be at the beautiful Georgetown Club here in Omaha, Nebraska. And we're going to be talking with Carolyn Sullivan. Now, Carolyn is the Senior Event Coordinator for Brandeis Catering. Brandeis Catering caters all over the city of Omaha, and they have exclusive catering rights at the Thompson Alumni Center at UNO, the beautiful Tip Top Ballroom downtown, and of course the Livestock Exchange Building. We're going to talk to Carolyn, pick her brain a little bit, about some tips and advice to help you when it comes to finding the perfect venue to have your wedding reception. Hi, we're here today with Carolyn Sullivan with Brandeis Catering. Carolyn, how are you doing today? Real good. How are you, Steve? I'm doing really well. Now, this is, I have a million questions for you, but we're going to sort of narrow this down and just hit the bullet points here today. I'm putting myself in the shoes of a bride and groom. Um, I've just gotten engaged, and now it's time to start planning for the reception. Mm -hmm. what, tell us about one of the first things you need to do. Well, the first thing is to call your ceremony site, mm -hmm. develop your number of guests that you're planning to have come to your wedding, yeah. so that when you make calls for your facilities, you're calling facilities that will be best suited for you. Yeah. Being it'll be a Friday or Saturday night, most facilities do have requirements mm -hmm. on those evenings, um, quite often minimum guest guarantee or yeah dollar amount spent. Right, and I, I think, you know, the point really being here is that it's it's crucial that once you are engaged, one of the first things you need to do is to figure out where you're going to have your reception at. Once you've figured out that ceremony site, reception venue has to come next. Most definitely, and once those two items are selected, yeah. then the stress level, as I oh. tell brides, just goes down and they can start enjoying the planning because yeah. it is a fun year for the brides. And before a bride and groom can go out there and start looking for a venue, what should they come in knowing? I mean, if somebody were to walk into to the Georgetown Club here, what would a bride and groom, what would be one of the first questions you'd ask them? Well, number one, um, flexibility if the date wouldn't be available. Yeah. Um, are they flexible on the date? Number two, the number of guests. Number three, what budget are they looking at? So yeah. that as we look at the menus, um, Two is Friday night an option because we do offer discounts here at our facilities. Yeah. And facilities throughout the city, most of them do offer Friday night discounts. Right. And, you know, I think based on my experiences that I've had in this industry, um, getting a a venue can be one of the most challenging things and I think everybody knows out there that you got to get that venue because they, they do book up so quickly in the wedding season, in the peak of the wedding season. They do and really wedding season anymore starts um, late March and goes yeah. very strong through October. October's become the other June. Yeah. Now d briefly tell us Carolyn, there's a there's two types of uh, reception facilities that you can get. There's the all-inclusive, which is what you guys are. Correct. I mean, bride and groom come in, they can get everything for them. And then there's the other reception facilities where the bride and groom have the option of bringing in their own food, bringing in their own beverage, and sometimes that can save them money. Talk about the differences and the advantages of the all-inclusive as compared to the non-all-inclusive. Sure. Um, we are at Brandeis Catering at our four facilities. We're all-inclusive, mm -hmm. meaning when you rent our facility, you're all your banquet needs plus all your setup will be done for yeah. you so that when your family arrives after the ceremony yeah. everything will be completed for you we'll call all your vendors and make sure they have an access time for setup if you choose to go to a facility that um, you can bring in your own food items yeah. your own beverages mm -hmm. You usually do have to do all the setup. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you have to do the cleanup also. Yeah. And at the end of the evening, you've had a fabulous evening, yeah. um, particularly as parents. Mm -hmm. You're usually the ones left to do the cleanup yeah. instead of talk to some of your guests that are still there. Yeah. So um, that's the biggest difference um, as a family. Where where to make your decisions. Yeah, and I've seen wedding receptions end where the bride and groom are on the dance floor sweeping or cleaning up chairs or tables or picking up trash. And so with the all-inclusives, the whole thing is, is you're, you're, my favorite line, it's a line you use all the time, is you can be a... Guest at your own wedding. And Love that it. is our, that's our yeah. goal. And um, they, you need to enjoy as bride and grooms, you need to enjoy this day. It will go much too fast, and it will go much too fast for parents also. Now to wrap all this up, uh, let's talk just very briefly about the importance of room layout, because you can have a cake here, the dance floor could be here, the bar's here. Briefly here on the room layout, what do you recommend? 
uh, for the room layout, it's best to talk to the facility because as facility managers, they know the best yeah. flow in their room. And to look at weddings that are set up mm -hmm. prior to your date yeah. so you can see the flow and as professionals, go with their advice. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Carolyn, I want to thank you so much for taking your thank time you. today to talk to us. And if you stay tuned in a few moments, Carolyn's going to have a couple of tips to help you when it comes to finding the perfect reception facility. Hi, I'm Carolyn Sullivan with Brandeis Catering, and I'd like to offer a few tips to you as you're planning your wedding reception. Tip number one is to define your guest list. In determining the number of guests that will be coming to your wedding reception, this will assist you in selecting your wedding reception site. Tip number two is get your wedding reception site reserved. During the busy wedding seasons, dates book up very, very quickly. So you'll want to get on the venue's reservation list. Tip number three is establish your budget. In establishing your budget, determine your priorities determine where you want to spend more of your budget. This will assist you as you continue to make the plans throughout the year. Also, there's many bridal fairs throughout the metro area. Plan on attending a few of them. Talk to the vendors, get input, see different ideas, and this will assist you in your planning.